And for my final guest this evening, I'm sure you've all been sitting on the edge of your seats to meet the Nutty Boys. And they are Chrissy Boy, Paul and Lee. And if two of them look familiar, it could be if you're a Madness fan. Lee and Chrissy Boy are actually ex-Madness, or is that true to say ex? Well, part-time members of Madness, yeah. Because actually they're, they're having a, sort of a bit of a, a resurgence, aren't they, if that's a good word you for it? You could call it that. They've done a few small gigs, but, you know, they're not as big as Nutty Boys, you know. <laughs> but they were in the charts earlier in the, in the year with um, It Must Be Love. Yeah. I mean, you know, we put an album out, Divine Madness, that did really well, so then we got offered some gigs, you know. So where, do you, where does your heart lie? With the Nutty Boys or with Madness? Yeah, I mean, with Nutty Boys. It's hard to be into. Financially with Madness. Yeah. <laughs> with the Nutty Boys. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have the Nutty Boys as a band been together? Two years. And it's not just you three, is it? There's actually uh, seven no, of you. Seven of us, yes. Two keyboard players, saxophone, bass, drums, vocals. Guitar. guitar. Organ. Oh, yeah, and guitar. Kazoo. Yeah. And, and who does what of the lineup that we've got here? I, uh, who's first? Oh, go on, Lee. You Vo vocals, You've got it. Vocals and saxophone. Paul? I do the bass and uh, jump around a lot. Like that. <laughs> Guitar. Guitar. And you've actually got a single out yourself at the moment, because called It's OK, I'm a Policeman. When was that released? <laughs> <laughs> um, if, if, if anyone hasn't noticed. <laughs> only three and six. It was released on the 7th of December. Have you had much success with it yet? Not a lot. What about a uh, playlist, uh, radio? Well, playlist? you know, they I say, oh, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. Have we heard it? Has it been on Radio 1, GLR? It's been on GLR a bit and uh, might have been on Radio 1. It's a bit of a catch-22, you know, they say. We well, won't play it till it gets me a chance, but it won't get me a chance till I play it. <laughs> well, we'll play it and not only, not only will we play it, oh. we'll also show a clip from the video. Woo! <laughs> 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 Let's take a look at it right now. <laughs> Well, now you've been on cable today, I'm absolutely certain you're going to be a huge success. We'd write to Fred on, you know, and their single went to number one after <coughs> you've been on here. <laughs> for the local angle for us watching in our cable today area, yeah. you, you live in Merton, don't you? Yeah, Mitcham, yeah. Mitcham. I've done for a while. So how did you get involved with these guys? Um, I don't know, I think I was on a green bus somewhere. And yeah, we met you. <laughs> yeah, I met you on a bus. Didn't <coughs> you, something like that. There must be more to like, it. Um, I, I was in another band, <coughs> and... Um, that famous, eh? Yeah, no, don't worry about that. And uh, we did we did an album on the same label that Lee and Chris initially done the Nutty Boys album on before they got the band together. And then, um, then I just threw friends and God knows what else, you know. Shut up! That was a marvellous story. It was a marvellous story. Well, something like that anyway. <laughs> and we just watched the clip from the video and it right. does have overtones of madness in it. You were there as um, Elvis, Paul. Are you yeah. an Elvis fan? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's the king, isn't he, Chris? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right come back. What about this, uh, the, the thing about the reincarnation of, of Elvis on January the 8th, I think, it's certainly yeah. recently. he was meant to show up, wasn't he, but he didn't. You know, well, I, I, it wasn't you then? Well, it might have been, but if you want answers on a postcard, then uh, <laughs> write in. I'm and, not saying. And Lee, you, the multi-talented Lee on the end there, you were playing several parts, <laughs> serial parts in that... Uh, serial parts? <laughs> serial <laughs> parts in the video. Yeah. Um, it's you with the, the bins on in the car, and also the white face with the patch with you, too. That's correct. Full marks. You're such a talented actor. And was did I recognise the Abbey Road uh, crossing there? Yeah. It what? was on the way to Harrods, well. so we stopped off and I kicked it. It was actually a studio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a studio, so I think. Yeah, we had it built, you know, Abbey yeah. Road replica. Didn't Trying to use the original, but Michael Jackson wouldn't allow it, wouldn't right. So, I mean, you, that, that's what you've, you've released. You've had that single out, you've had the video out. We've given everyone an opportunity to see it. And I might say that it was actually financed by yourself, wasn't it, Chris? Yeah, let's not talk pocket. about that. <laughs> Chris, I'll Lee's send you a check. Pay me off I'll send you a check. Oh, how much did it post? cost? It's a matter of interest. Cause it yeah, looks, uh, it cost quite about three grand, you know. It cost a fraction of what, a, say, a madness video cost. And yet it was along the same lines. It's the same mm. feel to it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But what about playing live? Do you do, you do gigs? Do you work? Like you, you yeah, we've, we've been offered quite a few, but we're turning them down. Um, and why is that, Lee? Um, because they're not recognised gigs. No, telephone boxes and telephone, yeah. yeah. We're, we're packing, big, we're, we're selling the gigs out, but it, they're only sort of 20 and 30 capacity. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not true of the gig that you're doing this very evening at the venue in New Cross. Matter of fact, if you're actually watching the 6.30 show or the 8 o'clock show, you've still got time to nip down to the venue in New Cross. Four pounds again. <laughs> <laughs> you be caught. You be caught. I'll be there first. Too bad. So I think, but if you're I think watching, it's five pounds. Sorry, and uh, <laughs> we'll go on whenever you turn up. But if you're watching later, tough because you've missed it. If you're watching the later shows, so what do you play a lot live? Well, you know, 
1991 we did a lot, and then last year, not so many, and this year we're being selective. Mm. We can wait, Chris. I mean, how long will you, you persevere with the, with the Nutty Boys, running alongside with Madness, or will you go with one or the other? Um, mm. This town ain't big enough no, for the both no. of us. This town's not big enough for the both of us. We'll see, you know. It's, it's been st stressful, but, you know, all right so far. Uh, but you are sort of really aiming for the chart success. Is there room for another madness type <coughs> group in the chart? Yeah, there's always room for another one. Yeah. <laughs> <Or two. laughs> okay. And just briefly, uh, Paul, if anyone is, is um, going to the gig tonight yes. uh, at, at New Cross, they could call into the filling station on the way. You won't, you won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, I'm just slipping in. Yeah, call down at Grove Gary <laughs> in East Dulwich, Grove Vale. There's two dispensaries in South London. There's yeah. yeah. shop in there. <laughs> It'll come up there. Easy. When you're rich and famous, Paul, you won't need to work there anymore. But for today... No, I'll buy one. <laughs> thanks very much for joining us. And I, hope, I wish you all the success with uh, your single. Go on, now check it again, Chris. Oh, it's um, okay, I'm a uh, policeman. That's the one. Thanks very much for joining us today. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Bye-bye. That is it.